Hola muchachos, it's your boy, LOL Jarrell, and today we're going to be talking about easy ways to save GP. If you want to get anywhere in this game, you're going to need a lot of GP, and it's very easy to overspend. I have seen videos like this, and I want to give fresh ideas, no repeats. So, with that in mind, let's get right into it. The first thing you can do is bot because jagex doesn't care about bots in game anyway so no, I'm, I'm just kidding we're not we're not gonna bot so for the real number one it is don't use overloads for bossing unless it's needed you're probably turning your head at me but let me explain if you're doing high enrage telos or high enrage arch glacor go ahead use it smart idea now if you're doing a slayer task normal mode carapac even low enrage telos you don't need to use it and I'm gonna explain why with some math. So, currently a three dose overload costs 51,500 GP, okay? Keep that in mind. A six dose Super War Masters potion costs 79,100 GP. Now, if you divide that price by three, it equals 26,366 GP. Why am I saying this? The kicker is you save about 25K every time you use three sips of the super war masters potion so long term it's going to save you a lot the next way to save is using rock tails instead of selfish now i don't really need to whip out any crazy math for this selfish are very expensive uh rock tails are not in comparison and also you can grab almost a full inventory of rock tails from your daily divination location the third way to save is using your death touch darts correctly now i know that there are videos about this but i just want to throw it in there because it is very important this is the most expensive and overpowered dart in game so you should use it wisely i would suggest only using them on ambassador during solo elite dungeons 3 for a rare drop and that rare drop can be double loot if you switch your chest to manual looting now some people suggest using it on nex Personally, I think Nex is not worth it because one, you can always learn it yourself and two, if you don't feel like doing that, you can always duo it because it's relatively easy duo and from what I know, it doesn't affect any drop chances. So you just get faster kills and I'm going to show a clan chat on screen right now. They are really good for getting into groups and learning different PVM bosses. The next way to save is stop relying on ripper demons we all know ripper demons are super overpowered they do mondo damage but at the cost of mondo gp so a good alternative is using a steel titan or a pack yak now you're going to be sacrificing your damage but you're going to be saving in return but if you stack a dps aura with your steel titan there's damage right there and again, if you're trying to push the max amount of damage out, yes, use Ripper Demons. If you're on a Slayer task or you're just trying to kill some boss that you know pretty well, just use a Steel Titan. The next easy way to save GP, and this will save you a lot of GP, pick one combat style. Only focus on your main upgrades like codexes, weapons, and prayers for that one combat style. This makes sense because spending a lot of GP on all styles means you're a jack of all trades but master of none. Which you want to be really good at one combat style. You should know the other two, or I'm sorry, the other three because Necromancy came out. But get good at one. For example, if you've watched this channel, you know I love melee. So I get all my upgrades for melee. Do I have some seismic gear? Yes. I don't even use it. So I should have just spent that money in the wise way and spent it on some weapon upgrades, which is going to be the next way to save. Picking weapons over armor upgrades. There's tons of video about this topic, but I'm going to give a quick TLDR. Weapons do damage and end fights faster. Armor only helps you survive longer, which it prolongs the fight if you have a higher tier armor than a higher tier weapon. So if you want to end your fights quicker and get GP quicker, just get your weapon first. You can worry about the 
crazy expensive armor upgrades later. Lastly, doing your dailies offsets losses from PVMing supplies. The best and quickest dailies that don't lead to any burnout, in my opinion, are the Rocktail Daily Divination Location. You can sell a quick inventory of it for not, you know, not too crazy uh, profit, but it still is something. But the real big profiter is the Vizwax. There are tons of guides on that, but make sure you do your Vizwax every day. You make a freaking crazy amount of money long term. And lastly, your skilling outfit add-on items. The hat on each of your skilling outfits, as you probably know if you have them, they give you a little something something every day. Do those. You can sell all that on the GE and whatever losses that occur while you're using supplies during PVM, which in RS3, you use a lot of supplies. It's going to slightly offset it, if not completely offset it, which is great because you save money. So with that in mind, I hope you use these tips and go out there and save a lot of money doing it. My name is El Drill. Peace.